It's final days, Clarence White from Meet White. I recently walked into a bookstore on Darling Street and asked the salesperson, where's the self-help section? She smiled and said, if I told you, that would be defeating the purpose. <laughs> now, boys, this is just the kind of intelligence and sophistication that you can come to expect in this prestigious peninsula location. But, buyers, if you are looking for the simplest way to improve your life, then look no further than Evans Street. There's no uncomfortable truths here. All that awaits is self-actualisation. Friends, colleagues, bidders, buyers and onlookers, welcome. Clarence White is my name. It is a great pleasure to be here today on behalf of the Bressick Whitney team and in particular our marketing agent, Mr Adrian Oddy. The index to today's proceedings is our contract of sale. I have a question. Hello, sir. Thanks, hello. Um, I have a question. I believe that this property was on the market last year. They wanted three million. Apparently they had an offer of 2.8 and they rejected it. Are we all wasting our time here or is there something wrong? Well, gee, sir, you seem uh, hyper-educated about the situation of the property. So we've been guiding 1.8. I can assure you that the reserve is absolutely in line with the guide and the expectations and the feedback that Adrian's give you, given you, sir. So my best advice is just to bid confidently and with all luck, you'll be the purchaser this afternoon. Are you registered, sir? I am. Best of luck. Any other questions while we are paused? Outstanding. Well, buyers, as I said, uh, lot six, strata plan 5040. Of course, better known to you and I as number six of 13 to 15 Evans Street in Balmain. It is offered with vacant possession, subject to a 10% deposit, although I do note that 5% is also stipulated as being acceptable in the contract. Settlement set for a neat 42 days. Of course, all of the documentation is encompassed, and I'm confident those who are bidding today will have made yourself familiar with the documentation. To our auction terms, our highest bidder today will be our fortuitous purchaser, subject to the owner's reserve price being met, of course. Now, if you intend to be that purchaser, you'll need to be registered to bid, you'll need to display a bidding card, and you'll need to be bidding on your own behalf unless you've provided a written authority to do otherwise. I will make you aware that we do have some registered online bidders today, Sam, and I assume you've got a card nominated for those parties, which I see there next to you. Uh, Wise, as the auctioneer, I am authorised to refuse any bid and indeed to place bid, one bid on behalf of our vendors. Not surprisingly, that is known as the vendor bid. No bids after the fall of the hammer, and of course, after that fall in your obligatory victory selfie, our highest bidder will sign the contract and pay consideration by way of a 10% deposit, after which, nut rights, uh, after which no cooling off rights will apply. Now, buyers, before we progress, dare I tempt fate and ask for another question? Are there any other burning things on people's minds today? Outstanding. Well, buyers, this is the very definition of inner west chic. It's a contemporary home of style and serenity. It feels more like a house in town than a townhouse. The neat neutral tones and clean lines create a symphony of simplicity. The exposed brick and the steel window frames are a nod and a wink to the warehouse conversion style that is so popular with the luxury living aficionados. Though I note the property is in fact a relatively young build of only five to six years old. Your gas kitchen is a marble with marble. The build is really splashed out on the splash back <laughs> and the integrated appliances and hidden cabinetry remove any visual clutter and allow the eye to be drawn to your carefully selected pieces of home styling. Mixed monochrome stone with tones and textures really set your bathrooms alight. I guess that's why they call it a powder room, because the appearance is dynamite. <laughs> your oversized glass sliders blur the lines between indoor and out, inviting the party al fresco, and the peeps of greenery on all sides create a tranquil and private feel. Additional living area to the downstairs level creates options and space, and the underfloor heating will ensure you won't be getting cold feet about this one. <laughs> well, buyers, you've heard of the Bondi bubble, but have you heard of the Balmain bubble? Because it's a thing. There's so many lifestyle amenities at your fingertips, you'll simply never need to leave the locale. You're playing amongst the cool kids here in the <coughs> inner west. It's hip, it's trendy, but mate, let's not mistake Balmain for just another inner west suburb. No, no. Balmain is much more well-to-do than some of its grungier neighbours. It's the posh spice of the peninsula. <laughs> it's a suburb synonymous with coffee culture. No matter how complex your caffeine order, the local brewers are up to the challenge. 
whether it's a, a caramel grande macchiato or a triple ristretto <laughs> affogato, Balmain has the baristas to build it. And if your short black has four legs, then I'd recommend the puppuccino. Oh. <laughs> Smashed avo, well that's standard with breakfast. And for the budding sommeliers amongst you, the highbrow selection of wine bars along Darling Street will keep your nose aloft and your palate pleased. It's a situation that oozes livability and walkability. Commuting is a non sequitur in this location because the short ride on the bus to the city is barely worthy of the word. Buyers, if you are looking to step up, date up or live up, then look no further because here in Balmain, you have the chance to stump up and help yourself to a better life, the Balmain life. Who takes the first sip, buyers? Opening bid, I place it into your hands. Who'd like to take control of proceedings nice and early? Sir, my questioner, your questions have been quelled. Have you got a starting bid for me, sir? Perhaps in line with the guide around 1.8? You tell me. Myers, this is your time, this is your cue. Action, not apathy, is going to aid your acquisition at this point, obviously. It is an occupational hazard. You do need to use the cards in order to own. Very, very simple. Where do we sit? Well, oh, gee, silence. It's not a strategy for success, buyers, is it? Where would you like to start it today? I'd love it to be in your hands. You might like your start better than mine. I don't know, you tell me. So you've got that card just poised in the fingers. You sure you wouldn't like to use it today? Multiple registered parties here today, buyers. Well, tell you what, I'm going to give you a short three calls to see if there's a start from the floor today. Otherwise, I'll take control of it myself. I'd call it through once, twice for an opening bid. Third, final time. I'll give you 1650000 Gee, okay, sir. On the bid. other side of that card, by any chance? There he is. 25. Have you got a card there, Sam? Is that bit of registered? Okay, 25 and two playing now at 1675000 Yeah. Your competition is one sevens there at a million seven hundred thousands. The yes. call at one seven the bid, one seven the money. Welcome, man. Twenty five for you, is it? At one seven two five, same there at a million seven twenty five is the call. Do we go one seven and fifty for you, sir? Is it at one seven five zero at one and three quarters? Neat, he squares the ledger. Do we go one seven and seventy five to nudge things north now? But at one seven five zero is the call at a million seven fifty is the money. Ten. Principally against you, seven sixty is it? Just a neat ten at one seven six zero. Another 10 for you, sir, is it a million seven seventy at 1770 is the call. Who's got 1.8 to spend on it? At 1780 is there, at 1780, surely 1.8. 1. Jeez, this plane's a bit loud. Can you speak up, please? Gee, sir, I think I'm pretty loud and so does my family, but I'll do my best. <laughs> at a million seven hundred and eighty seven ninety is it this time? At 1790 is the call. At 1790, who's got 1.8 on... 15 here. 15 at 1805 at a million eight hundred and five. Ten more at a million eight hundred and fifteen at one eight and fifteen is the call at one eight one five the call. Let's go twenty five. Okay, good sir. I like it. It's better. You're improving your position there at a million eight hundred and forty at one eight four. Five. At five more is it at a million eight hundred and forty five at one eight. Same. One eight and forty five. Just five thousand is it, sir? Yes. Sir. At a million eight hundred and fifty at one eight five is the call. At a million Ten. eight sixty at one eight and sixty in front now, sir. But only by yes, a note. Same. One eight and sixty, one eight and seventy. Checking your competition there, sir. At one eight seven zero. Five. At one eight seven five. At a million eight seventy five. At one and seven eight seven Same. million. At one eight and eighty. At one eight eight zero is the call. And we need eight hundred and eighty. Who's got one point nine to spend on it? Perhaps buyers. And we need eight hundred and eighty thousand is the call. <laughs> Calling it once now. At a million eight hundred and eighty. Is that ten more, man? Double high five for you at a million eight hundred and ninety is the call. Just that card again, if you wouldn't mind, at eight hundred and ninety is there. Two thousand five hundred. Oh, gee, sir, that's a short little increment, is it? You wouldn't go better than that, would you, by any chance? At a million eight hundred and ninety to the half. At one eight nine two, the half's the call. Twenty five for me. Gee, sir, that's a better bid, isn't it? It's at one nine and seventeen, the half. Good move for the keys. I like it. At one nine one seven, the half. At a million nine seventeen, the half buys. Who responds? Who retorts? At a million nine seventeen the half against you now. Calling it away once at a million nine hundred and seventeen the half. Offered twice at a million nine seventeen the half quickly. Surely at this point at one nine one seven the half. Third and final time. Is there any better bid? What about my online bidder at a million nine hundred and seventeen and a half? It's there. One hand on those keys. Well, gee, buyers, at the risk of causing a cavalcade of late interest, I make it clear that I'm going to sell it in the absence of further bidding. So we play for keeps on this one. There's no manana, no tomorrow here. Yeah, all right, I'll go two and a half down. Gee, that must have been the magic words, mustn't it, sir? At a million, 920 at 1920. Welcome back. Hello, sir. Are you coming to give me a bid? What's your situation? At a million, 920. You just want to participate, do you? Ten here. Ten. Ten. You got a card by any chance? Yeah, 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 I've got one, yeah. Okay. 
No worries, the million 920 was your call at 1930. So you won't be tisking if you buy it. At 1930 <laughs> is the call. At a million 930's left hand side. Welcome in, by the way, it is great to see you. At a million 930,000, your response and your retort. At 1930, at a million 930. What's against you now, sir? The chips are down. Important moments, timing critical now. At 1930, sir, for you, anything left in the tank and left hand side once. At a million 900. Say again. 1,000. Ooh, blackjack. No, Stop it accepting these low bids, we're stuck mucking around. 931, would you see? I'm in a hurry. Bed. Let's just go straight to 2 million then. 1,000. Oh, well, that was all show and no go, wasn't it, sir? At a million 932. At 1932. Just $1,000, wasn't it, sir? Just to be clear. At a million 932, got you there. You look confused, yeah. sir. <laughs> yeah, 10,000, sorry. You want 10,000? Okay, all right. Well, that's, well, I'm glad we caught that confusion together, sir. At a million 941, to be clear, can I confirm that's yeah. correct, sir? At 1 9 and 41, 1941, the war begins at 9 and 41. Buyers, what do you pay, sir? 1950, would you like? 1960, you tell me. At 9 and 41, against you now, you play from a perilous position in second place. At 1941, first call now. I can bid however I like, 500 just for you. Jeez, sir. <laughs> now don't antagonise anyone, sir. We don't want to have any heated situations here today. And a bid in 941, in any case, $500. Probably Mr. Not Auctioneer, anyone, I know because... why I'm not winning this auction. What do you want to This ask? is my unlucky number. He's got my lucky <laughs> number over there. I can't change that, sir. I'm not going to place another bid unless we can swap numbers. You can't do that, sir. I'm sorry. It'll be in 941 and a half. Mm. He obviously beat you here. He registered first. All power to him. It'll be in 941 and a half. I can tell you why you're not winning, sirs, because you haven't been again and you're not in front. <laughs> one nine and forty-one the half. It's here. This astute gentleman I'll has one fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand at one nine fifty-six the half. At a minute nine fifty-six the half down the centre oh, and welcome back. He's at an one absolute nine fifty-six joke. Five the half. Was it sorry? Five. Fifty-six the half and sixty-one the half. At a million nine hundred and sixty-one the half and sixty-four. At a million nine sixty-four is there. At one nine and sixty-four, your response, your retort, sir. At one nine and sixty-four. He's eloping with your lifestyle, but you have the chance to apprehend the culprit. At a million nine hundred and sixty-four thousand. Once the money, twice the call. Third one nine sixty-four, sorry? One. Just a thousand? Nine hundred and sixty-five. At a million nine hundred and sixty-eight. One. At a million nine hundred and sixty-nine. Three. Million nine hundred and seventy-two. Nine and a half. Nine seventy-two. Sorry. Nine and a half. Nine seventy-two. That's going to make it uh, eighty-one and a half. At a million nine eighty-one and a half. A million nine eighty-two and a half. Two and a half. At a million nine eighty-two and a half. And a million nine eighty-five. One. At a million nine eighty-six. At one nine and eighty-six. Nine and a half. One nine eighty-six and one nine ninety-five and a half. And a million one. nine. Say again. One. Ninety-six and a half. Two thousand five hundred. Ninety-six and a half takes me through to ninety-nine. At one nine ninety-nine. At one triple nine's the call. Buyers, are we prolonging the inevitable here? At a nine, one million nine hundred and ninety-nine. Take me round the corner. Surely this time. At a million nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand. First time's the money. Twice the opportunity. At a million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Third and last. Two and a half thousand for me. What is it? Two and a half. Two million and one and a half. Yeah, two oh one and a half. Seven and a half. Good bid, sir. Two oh one and a half takes me through to two oh nine. Two million and nine. Two, three. Two million and nine. Two million and twelve. Nine and a half. Two million and twelve takes me through to uh, twenty two the half. Twenty twenty one the half. I think. Twenty one the half. At two million and twenty one the half. At two oh two. Three again. Two oh two one the half and two oh two four the half. Eighteen hundred. Two oh two four the half. Well, oh, gee, sir, that's that's. That's that's an idiosyncratic bid, isn't it? At two million two hundred, at two million and twenty-four the half, and you want eighteen hundred, so it's going to be twenty-five and a half, twenty-six shambles. three, yeah. At two oh twenty-six three, so would you like to be in front? Shambles. Let's get this over and done with twenty-seven hundred. Twenty-six three, and that's going to square me off to twenty-nine, sir. At two oh two nine, at two million and twenty-nine thousand. I'll chuck in eighteen grand. Gee, that's a good bid at this point, sir. At two oh two nine, thirty-nine forty-seven. Yeah, 47 at 2047 is your play for the keys, and it is a good one at that. At 2047, the money, your response, your retort. At 2 million and 47,000 down the centre, one hand on the precious keys. At 2047 for your lifestyle in Balmain. First call at 2047, twice called at 2047, third. And last chance, is there any better bid? At 2 million and 47,000, have I got your best man? Are you sure? Stone faced at 2047, just like the bathroom, sir. 
at 2047. Anything left in the tank for you? It is against you. Chips it down. You got me started. Would you like to finish? Anything online, Sam? Online bid. One. Just One. a cheeky thousand dollars. The heartbreaker bid. GC, you almost had it. You just need to go again now. At 2048. Don't let that break the back. At two million and forty-eight thousand, surely a net two thousand dollars squares it to twenty fifty. Gee, sir, you've got a disheartened face. It's only a thousand dollars. It is no great dent in the fender. You're only a thousand dollars in arrears at two oh four eight. I'm going to give you three chances to think about it, and three chances only at twenty forty-eight. First, second, third, and final. I ask you formally, have I got your best? You let it go. Well, we don't see that very often. It's a great strategic play. We sell it away. Anything left, sir, at 2048. Third and last chance. I call it once, twice, third and final time. It goes now. It goes. And it is sold. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Black Star. Thank you very much to all of our underbidders. And I will leave you with the words of Abraham Maslow. At any given time, you have two options to step forward into growth or step back into safety. He's wishing you a stepping forward kind of day. I'm Clarence White. Have a great afternoon.